Hey, I'm Mike, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about Small Step Certificate Manager and how to issue your first certificate. So as you can see, I've created a team and I've landed on the homepage for Certificate Manager. So I'm going to create an authority, and to do that, I click the big orange button, and I give it a name, and click Create. It's as easy as that. And what you'll find is you now have an online intermediate authority available at this URL. And we've also pre-created a couple things for you. Uh, provisioners are ways that you access the CA. And we've created a provisioner called Authority Admin and assigned myself in this example as an admin to that provisioner. And that combination will allow me to do administrative actions on the CA. In terms of managing the CA, you don't do it in the UI. In fact, most of our management and use is API or CLI first. So you'll manage your CA using the command line tool. And the way you'll do that is you install something called STEP or STEP CLI. Uh, you can brew install it if you're on a Mac. It's very straightforward. I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna run that step, but it is very straightforward. After that, you'll wanna tell your local CLI client and configure it to bootstrap with that CA. So it's as simple as copying the command, pasting it over here in my window, and it will bootstrap this local client into that uh, CA. I've downloaded the root file and I've set local configuration. So that now tells my CA, my client which CA it's talking to, but I still can't access it to get a certificate. To do that, I need to create a new provisioner. So I'm going to do that again here via copy paste. And when I copy this over into my command line here, you'll see that we're, we're running a command called provisioner add. Um, we're going to need to give it a name. Uh, I'm going to name it based on the function it does, which is password, because this is a password-based provisioner. You can give it any name you like. Its type is JWK, uh, and we're creating it with a default duration. So I'm going to hit enter here. And because I'm creating a new way to get certificates from the CA, I need an authenticated request to do that. And the way that I do that is that first provisioner I mentioned, this authority admin provisioner. So I'm going to put my email in here. Maxi at smallstep.com. And when I hit enter, it's going to take me through a single sign on flow over here in my browser to verify my access. Once I do, back here in the command line, you can see it's asking me for a password. So I'm going to enter a password for this new provisioner and hit enter. And let's go ahead and create that provisioner and close out of this window. Over here in my authority page, you can see I now have a new provisioner called password. And this is what I can use as an administrator to issue a certificate. So let's do that. Again, in the quick actions here, I can sort of expand out, copy this issue a certificate command, and paste it over here in my browser, or in my command line. Uh, before I run this command, I do want to highlight a couple points. Um, the first here is step CA certificate. That's the core command. If you type that dash H, you'll get all the different variations that we can do around that. But that's the command itself. The second argument is the name of the CA. So in this example, we're going to call it my service. We're going to create a certificate called myservice.crt and a new key called myservice.key and put those into a file. And then we're adding a couple other extensions. The first one is we're giving it a secondary name or a SAN of myservice.internal.mycompany.net. And then lastly, we're setting the expiry. So in this example, we're saying expire a 24 hour certificate. So I hit enter. It's going to say, OK, you want a certificate? Prove you get one. I'm going to use the provisioner called password, the one we just created a minute ago. I hit enter. It's going to ask me for that password. And when I deliver it, it's going to give me a certificate. So that's it. I just issued a certificate. We can inspect that certificate. Um, which is the second command here. Let's go ahead and so step certificate inspect. And what you can see is I have a new certificate named my service with a SAN, the extended SAN we talked about, and it's valid for 24 hours. Simple as that. Um, certificates expire. This one's a 24 hour. So at some point you'll want to renew that certificate. Renewal is just as easy. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward command. You type step CA renew, the name of the certificate and the name of the key. You hit enter. It's going to say, do you want to overwrite that file? There is a dash dash force option if you want a less interactive. 
But in effect, I just renewed and downloaded the certificate. If I inspect that again, you'll see I now have a lifetime that is about a minute longer than the first one I issued. But that's it. That is step certificate create and step CA renew. Good luck with your certificates. If you have any questions or feedback, reach out. We'd love to hear it. Thank you.